Hey, it's just a uh, another update on the 40 breeder. A um, few big changes. Uh, I did a big rescape on the right side of the tank today, and a little on the left. Um, I found this really nice piece of wood at uh, Petco about a week and a half ago. It's been soaking, and uh, I threw it in today. Moved the sage from the center, and then surround it over here. Um, yeah, looks like one of the rams is already picking a little area. Hopefully. There's, uh, the wood, the way it's set up, it's going to have two caves. One on this end, and one back here. Um, it's just a really neat piece of wood. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of these people on the, uh, around, you know, they go find their driftwood. Well, I live by the Mississippi River, and I'm not pulling driftwood out of that nasty river. And, um... You know, instead of guessing, you know, what's good wood, what's bad wood, I just buy this mall pie hardwood. Um, it sinks. I don't have any problem with it. Um, you do got to soak it for a while to get all the tannins out. But, uh, yeah, it's just really neat looking wood. It's got a lot of, a lot of character to it, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, got that piece of wood. No, stoked. Got into the tank. Uh, moved the dwarf penny ward out here to the middle. I'm gonna try to get a carpet of it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it'll work. It looks kind of rough today because I just kind of pulled it all apart and stuck it in there. And if it doesn't work, uh, you know, I'm I'm thinking maybe I need to try something else. If you got any ideas, you know, I've got two uh, T5 HO fixtures and I do dose CO2 and I also. Uh, I'm using the Sea Kim uh, Flourish and Potassium and Iron. So, uh, but anyway, if you got any ideas on that, let me know. Um, another thing is, is the Bloodfin Tetra. I thought they were all Bloodfin Tetra, and then I kind of questioned them, like that one right. Well, I just went into the back. Um, oh, here's one right here. You notice he, his lower fins aren't red, they're clear. And that's because they're glass Bloodfin. I didn't know if they were males or females or whatever, but. Uh, they seem okay. I've got four or five of them in here. They're a little more aggressive as far as uh, you can see the way he's pecking at things. But uh, they like to chase the uh, cherry shrimp around. I'm not sure if they're eating them. They might get a baby here and there. But, um, yeah, they're all right for now. I might have to take them out if they, uh, if they start acting too ridiculous. But um, the bloodfin have been awesome. I haven't lost any of these fish. Um they chase each other around. They're constantly moving in the upper sections of the tank. Um, they've just been really neat to watch. Uh, a lot better than the old Neons, which I think I'm down to five of them. They kind of just do their standard chill thing. They don't really do much. But those algae eaters have also been awesome. Uh, you can tell that one likes to chase them around. But, uh, man, they have done some major work in this tank. Um... Over here, I had these uh, these two pieces of driftwood that, you know, the original, so I've always been in the tank, been covered in blackbeard algae. Uh, my plant's been free of it, but this wood has just always been covered in it. And as you can notice, it's been picked clean. I mean, that's bark on that. That's not any algae there, but, uh, but you know, it used to just be covered, and now it's just been picked clean by those Siamese algae eaters. They've really done their job. Um... So I lucked out on that. You know, it took a week and a half to clean that wood. Um, which I originally bought those Bristlenose Pleco for. And uh, they they kept it chewed down, but I don't think they did near as good of a job as those uh, Siamese algae eaters. Which, they are the true ones. They're not flying foxes or, you know, they're the real, the real deal. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I'm hoping that ram will make its home in there it's been all my rams have been hiding in the back of the tank since i moved to the 40 they haven't come out at all and uh definitely haven't been doing any breeding or anything like that but anyway well that's my uh rescape on the 40 breeder um dwarf penny wart in the center moved all the sag over here to the right i had to bring back that uh that pump there, that I think it's a Corellia 240. Um, I had to bring it back. 
being that I had to reposition the outtake on my filter a little bit because of the wood just so I can keep the current coming over here in this corner and uh, but anyway that's it guys uh, if you got any comments advice especially on that you know carpeting plant for the center if this penny ward don't work out um, you know drop a line below and uh, thanks for watching guys I appreciate it Yeah, cool little cherries.